Hey everyone, welcome to another exercise. I know you will love this one because now we're going to create a character animation and it's of course it's going to be really fun. Now, before we get into After Effects and start animating this, this character, we have to prepare this character on the software that we have it. In this case, it's Illustrator. And we have to prepare this character to the rigging. So what is the rigging? The rigging is the process of creating a sort of a skeleton and joints so that the character can be in any pose that we want. If we want this character to make his leg bend to, the, to this part over here or if we want to make this character move the arm uh, up to his head and scratch his head, we have to do the rigging because otherwise this is of course just a rigid character you can see how this arm is totally rigid and we can bend it so remember how we talk about the puppet pin tool and how it it was used to bend the characters and prepare the the joints remember that in that lesson we talk about the joints and we prepare that character for the rigging so that's what it's the what the rigging is all about now you may wonder why we are on Illustrator on an F After Effects course and the truth is that the chances are that the character that you are going to animate is from Illustrator or maybe from Photoshop or maybe from even Cinema 4D or 3D Max or something but the chances are that there is the character isn't created on After Effects because After Effects is not a software for creating vectors is you can do that you can maybe create this character on After Effects but it will be so much complicated than on Illustrator because Illustrator is meant to work with vector files so if you want to work with character animation you the best way to do that is to create the character on app on Illustrator and then get into the, the character import the character to After Effects so before we get into After Effects we need to prepare this character for the rigging of course the rigging will be made on After Effects with the Puppet Pin tool and another plugin that we're going to talk about later but first we need to separate this character into all the parts that we want to move because right now if we just import this file to After Effects we won't be able to move everything like we want to move we, want, we would have to move the arm along with the leg along with the body and maybe we will along with the with the head even so what we need to do now is to prepare this character so that we can work easily on After Effects now I already did the, did the job I have the character prepared for rigging you can see that I have all the characters in different layers I have the eyebrows in, a, in one layer the eyes in one layer the head in another layer the hair is another layer and so goes on for the right arm the left arm the body the right shoe even the, la the right and left leg and this lower part of the body so I prepared everything and you can see that all I did is to separate all the things that I want to animate separately for example I want the, the eyes to have an animation so I would have to separate it from the head I want the eyebrows to have a little bouncing effect on After Effects so I have to separate these eyebrows in a different layer the head you can see that it's all one big layer the hair will have another animation will I want this layer to have a little wave effect so I have to animate it independently and of course the right and left arm the body the legs in are independent you can see I have the right leg have the left leg have the left shoe and the right shoe now I already did the job but uh, of course I, I'm going to teach you a little bit of how I did this so all I did is I have this character from Freepik you can see how wonderful this character is it's super cool and you can find it on Freepik and now all I, all I did is to separate everything that I wanted to work for so all I did is I ungrouped these objects these lines as they are strokes I just go to object path outline stroke so that they become shapes and not strokes and 
I started grouping everything that I wanted to be in a different layer. For example, the eyes are one group, the eyebrows are one group, the mouth, the nose, this part of the hair, and the head with the neck, and even the ears can be a dif uh, different group, so I press Ctrl and G to create this group. Of course, this will happen, but don't worry, we just have to press Ctrl and Y to see the outlines and take these layers to the top. I ungroup this part of the body and made this shoe into one group this one is also one different group and for the legs what I did is to crop some of the parts for example I grab a rectangle and created a rectangle on this part now I grab the legs and this new rectangle and I go to Pathfinder and click on Divide now I have this part in a different group I already ungrouped this I have this part that I'm calling the lower part lower body part I can decrease this and fix what needs fixing and now you can see that the legs are different groups all I have to do is ungroup them and now I have two legs separated now for the legs I'm going to double click on them to isolate this part and I also took this path to the top like this and I created a circle so that this part of the joint will be rounded instead of having a rectangle shape so the leg is something like this and the same goes for the left leg of course going to take this path to the top and create a circle and we have the two legs of course we need to group this So this will be the left leg, all this part. Now this is a group. This is another group. And now all I have to do is to rearrange these objects. These legs go to the back and the body, the lower part of the body too so I have all the legs ready now the next thing that I did is to separate the arms as you can see in this character the body is just one shape so we need to cut some parts of this body so all I did is to create a shape resembling this part from this point and I crop this so that I could have this part separated now I took this anchor and make it to the left 
so that I can have room once that I start moving the arm I don't see a cut here I cut this with Ctrl and X and paste it in front so now if I separate this group I have this right arm like this and the same goes for the left arm I went to this arm and created a new shape with this same shape of the body and I divided it then I place this anchor to the right separate all of this and I have the left arm now you have to bring the lightning of the t-shirt to the front and finally the head you can see that the neck is lost here so we have to bring it to the front too so once that you have this make sure that everything is grouped for example the arm should be grouped this left arm should be grouped too and the body of course have to be grouped now with this with everything grouped and ready we need to select all of this and you can see that right now we have only one layer so we have to go to this menu here on the layers panel open this menu and select release to layer sequence when you do that you will have all the selections that you made you will have on a different layer you can see how now everything is a different layer so all you have to do is to grab all these subgroups here and take it to the top of our layers you can delete this layer this empty layer now and that's it so with this selected you start naming things because it's, Im it's really important that everything has its name for example this will be called the right leg of course and this one the left leg and this is really important to rename these layers because when we get to After Effects we need to know what layers is what so that we don't have to see what a uh, turn off and on so as to, to know what the layer contents and when you have re finished renaming all the layers all you have to do is to save it with the name you want I have this one already rigged already prepared for rigging you can see that I have all the layers with their name and so I save this file save it as character now if I go to After Effects and I go to the project panel and go to import file and select character of course I have to import it as a composition so that we can retain the layer sizes click OK and now I have this new composition and a new folder with all the layers that I want now all I have to do is to create a new composition let's set it to to the HDTV 1080 and let's make it white for now and if I take my character composition here I can increase the size as I want if I open this comp you can see that I have everything prepared for rigging everything is separated I can move the eyebrows I can move the right arm the left arm the legs I can move everything all the character is set for rigging so now on the next lesson I will teach you about a plugin that we are going to use for the character rigging so let's go